What's going on guys? I'm back again today. I wanted to make a short video showing you how much your truck can safely haul and tow. All right, I'm gonna show you how to figure out how much this particular truck can safely haul and safely tow. And I'm gonna show you how to figure that out for your truck because it's really quick and it's really easy. So the only thing that you're gonna to need to do this is your truck, you're gonna to have to find a certified scale. You need a calculator, which we all have on our smartphones these days your owner's manual, and I like to have a pad of paper and a pen to write down so it helps keep everything straight in my head. All right guys, so every new truck made in the United States should have these stickers in the door, which I'm gonna show you right here. You should have two stickers on your door panel. Um, on the in, they'll, be, they'll usually be right here inside your door by your latch. And those have a lot of important information about your truck. In particular, this one right here says GVWR, that's Gross Vehicle Weight Rating. That is the entire amount that this truck, according to the manufacturer, according to Ford, is ever allowed to have on both of these axles, right here, front and rear axles. A second number that you can sometimes get, not always, but it should have your um, payload capacity, which there, Different brands will show this different ways. Some will call it um, net cargo capacity. Some, some will call it cargo capacity. Some will call it payload. This one just says the combined weight of occupants should never exceed. In this case, 3,123 pounds. So I'm gonna show you why you can't go by this sticker. Now, going back to this, we have 11,500 pounds. So our GVWR for this truck is 11,500 pounds according to this door sticker. The next thing you need to find out for your truck is how much it actually weighs. So Ford can show you an estimated curb weight for your truck, but all trucks are going to weigh a little bit different. So this particular truck is a high optioned Lariat. So it has leather interior, it has uh, power, sunroof, it has a lot of features that add weight. It is, additionally, it is a 6.7 diesel, it is a crew cab. And then I also have a sleeper cap on the back of it. So there's a lot of weight added to it. I took this truck to a local certified scale with myself and my two kids in it. And it weighed 9,010 pounds with the fuel tank just above half. This truck has a, a 48 gallon fuel tank. So fuel actually is kind of important because diesel weighs... Um, I think six and a half, seven pounds per gallon. So if you have 50, almost 50 gallons of it on board, it can add hundreds and hundreds of pounds. All right, so we have 11,500 pounds that Ford says is the most this truck can ever safely carry on these two, on these four tires, on these two axles. So we take 11,500 and we subtract the actual weight you get from a scale. Now you can get your weights from a truck stop, um, from the local dump, from a scrap yard. And most places are pretty cool if you say, hey, I just wanna roll across your scale and get a weight. Um, and, and they'll absolutely let you do that. So I have 2,490 pounds as my remainder when I subtract these. That, that shows us that this sticker over here that says 3,123 pounds, that's gonna be your max that you can safely load this truck and these tires in the, in the best world that maybe that's like an empty fuel tank, um, no car seats, no kids, no cap, no toolbox. I don't know. All I know is that because I can only safely carry 11,500 pounds, I know that I can only carry 2,490 pounds. And that includes your trailer's tongue weight. All right, so the next thing you need to do to figure out how much you can safely tow, because Ford will say in their ads that this truck can safely tow I think 32,000 pounds, right? Oh, the new Super Duty, he'll tow 32,000 pounds. So that's great, but that is based on a specific package on a specific model. So what we need to do to figure out what our model is actually rated to tow, pull out your owner's manual. This is my 2017 Super Duty owner's manual. I've already, I've already, um, I've already got a shortcut to the section I need, but if you're not familiar, you flip it open and in your beginning of a table of content, contents, and you should see something that either will say um, towing or 
um, load carrying. So load limit 260. So we'll flip there. All right, so you'll see a chart just like this one, and it'll have capacities for all the different configurations that Ford offers this vehicle in. So you'll see single rear wheel, dual rear wheel, chassis cab, pickup truck. Some manufacturers will even break down regular cab, super cab, crew cab. In this case, pickups. So all of our pickups um, across the board, they're rating F350, single rear wheel, 6.7 diesel, and it has your axle ratios. Mine's a 355. So our maximum GCWR is 28,700. So we're going to write that down. 28,700. That is what Ford rates my GCWR, my gross combined weight rating. And that is what Ford rates this vehicle and a towed trailer to weigh. 28,700 pounds. Okay. So to figure out what trailer I can tow, I take 28,700, which is what Ford rates this entire truck and trailer combined to tow to, to weigh. And I'm going to subtract my actual scaled weight of 9,010 pounds. So 28,700 minus 9,010 pounds, 19,690 pounds. All right, so we know the maximum that we can safely tow with this truck, according to these calculations, is 19,690 pounds. But there's still more that you need to check to make sure that that's an actual safe number. You should have a label on your hitch, just like this one. And right here, we, we have two different types of ratings, weight distribution and weight carrying. Weight distribution means you have a special hitch, like the type you used to tow a camper, that are capable of cantilevering some of the weight off of the camper over the hitch and loading the front wheels as well, which is a, a more, um, it allows that weight to be distributed more evenly between the front and rear axles. It prevents the headlights from being aimed at the, the sky instead of the, the ground in front of you. So most vehicles will have different weight ratings. In this case, this particular truck has a three inch hitch which uh, only this, only certain model years of F-350s had this. So it actually takes two separate adapters to go to a regular hitch. Um, this massive three inch hitch has a weight rating of 21,000 pounds, whether you're using a weight distribution hitch or not. So we compare that to our number, 19,690 pounds. And that means that according to Ford, I could safely tow 19,690 pounds as long as we didn't add more than 2,490 pounds of tongue weight. So the other thing you need to do is come back and check your tires. This chart that gave us our cargo carrying capacity is also going to have the tire size that this is rated at. These, this truck uses 275-65-20s. Importantly, they are load range E. And these are the pressures that they need to be at to handle that weight. So. This is especially important if you're not the original owner of your truck. You want to come back and check your tires. In this case, we have um, 275, 65R20s. That shows you the size right here. Um, and then we will find uh, our, our load rating for them. We will make sure that we have the proper load rating for this. In this case, it's 120, 126. So we know that they're the same load rating as the placard on the door is for. While you're down here, if you're planning on exercising your truck to the full ability of its capabilities, this is your DOT date code. So the last two digits of this code are the year that it was made. In this case, it's 18, which means 2018. This will actually be the 46th week of 2018. So we know that these tires are the correct tires to safely carry the weight that Ford has rated for them and be under our gross combined uh, gross combined weight rating and our gross combined vehicle rating all right guys so i hope that helped everybody out um, you can see that it is very easy and very fast to calculate how much your truck can actually safely tow and carry and that's important so if this video helped you out uh click like on the video if you like to see more videos uh, with camping content and other stuff click subscribe i have an entire playlist of camper videos i'm going to add this to and i'll link it to it here right here at the end of the video and thank you very much for your time stay safe everybody toe safe and have a great time